Hello and welcome to another vlog edition of In the Kitchen with Kai. Um, I just want to talk about a Facebook status that I wrote a few days ago. Um, and I spoke about how my accent gets scarily posh when I'm in important meetings full of white people. And I questioned why I'm subconsciously trying to prove myself, my worth if we're all the same. And I got some really interesting feedback and comments from friends. Uh, most of them were positive and just saying, you know, it, it happens, it's natural. But um, the point was that I felt it was something that was a bit deeper than it just being me adapting to um, the context that I'm, I'm in. But while I've got Jerry in my house, I thought I would uh, invite him to elaborate on um, on this. And and he's also in a similar position where he works in, you know, he works in a very um, prestigious prestigious yes career. Oh, yes. So exactly. So he has to be adapting his uh, his accent. So Jerry, um, let's you tell us from your point of view what you think this means. Well, it uh, there's actually a famous quote by a comedian called Dave Chappelle where he says that he basically says that all black people speak two languages. He says they speak slang, street vernacular, and then they speak job interview, you know, and it's true. It's just like um, uh, the way I see it is just being a good, dynamic, uh, flexible communicator. You're going to be able to... Um, speak to everybody in their uh, in, a, in, in their preferred way you know of speaking like for example when I speak to my younger brothers I use a lot of slang you know because that's how they speak you know they, they use words like you know what's up blood and and all that kind of stuff you know but when I'm in a meeting or you know talking to lawyers and that's, I work in a law firm but uh, you know it's like I'm not going to use that <laughs> I'm not going to use any slang at all I'm going to Use prim and proper Queen's English. Give us an example. Um, uh, for example, I might, you know, I'd be coming out of words like, you know, perpetual, and, um, you know, you'd be coming out of words like, um, uh, and not even necessarily long words, but just proper words. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say, um, you know, um, cause, you'd say because. You know, so it's, it's more of proper English as opposed to just using uh, difficult words. That's... But then in terms of accent, um, how would you say your accent changes then? Because yeah. there's, there's a difference between speaking articulately, but then also the accent changing. Yeah, yeah, I don't change my accent. <laughs> See, my accent changes. My accent gets very, very posh. Wow. And, Can you give uh, us an example? No, I can't because I have to be in a situation. <laughs> um, but it's I hear myself speaking like that, Your and then accent I think, changes. My accent changes, and I hear myself speaking like that, and I'm thinking, "Whoa, where where did this person come from?" So what I actually thought, what I wrote on Facebook was that I think it's something that's kind of deeper. I'm trying mm. to prove my worth. I'm trying to prove that I fit in. Or I have a right to be here. But then I'm a person that was born and bred here. Why should I mm. have to feel that I have to almost, you know? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I wouldn't have put it on Facebook if it was just a case of just a simple, oh, my accent changed, changes a bit. I meet so many people from around the world, you know, and they, their level of English might not be so great. So I actually break down my English or my accent so I can understand them or they can understand me. So that I'm used to. But then if I'm trying to prove myself to somebody to show that, hey, I, by making my accent more, you know, by saying I'm here, I have a right to be here, or listen to me, it's kind of scary. It just shows me, I think I, I, I called it my demons. It's my demons, demons. that I have to... I so have you, to, you look I at it to, as a bad thing? I don't think it should be a necessary thing because if I have something to say of importance, it shouldn't matter what my accent is. No, you're right in, in terms of accents. I mean, I, I do think um, in certain situations you want to be speaking properly, <laughs> but yeah. in terms of accent, no, you shouldn't have to hide it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think it's it's obviously something that I need to think more about or just um, be more aware of within mm. myself. And it's all about just getting the confidence thing because we all have certain things that we 
you know, that we have to face up you to. You think it's a confidence thing? I, I, I don't think I'm, I'm not a confident person, but there's always that subconscious thing that makes you realise that you still have a lot of work to do okay. in terms of being complete with yourself and knowing where you fit in, you know, especially with my university. Like I wrote even, this blog is a product of um, how I feel about my student experience. Um, I feel very frustrated within my student yeah. um, environment. Um, obviously, I'm trying to work for change by getting involved with my students' union. But I was in a meeting with, you know, committee members that have the power to change this. So I thought that I really had to express myself in a way where they could understand me and it's not just, you know, just a girl who is from the street kind of thing that's um, complaining about stuff. It's almost yeah, like I'm on yeah, your level, yeah, so understand yeah. what I'm saying. But um, mm. but I sh- it shouldn't have to be. That's the point. <laughs> uh, I, I think we have. I mean, if you're talking, in, if you're talking just about accent, then I, I would agree agree with you. I don't think I've heard articulate people from all kinds of different. I've heard, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you know, start grabbing. But I've heard. Uh, I don't want to, you know, grab a specific country. But I've heard people with proper accents, like proper. Um, articulation from every, from a lot of different countries. So yeah. I don't think that's a problem. But uh, if you're talking about changing accent, then that might be you know a question. But if you're talking about just sounding properly, yeah, yeah, of then course, that's different. Because yeah. I do think you don't want to sound like some ghetto girl from the street if you're in a certain situation. I think that's a good thing to do. <laughs> but, but if you're worried about you know um, hiding an accent, you know. Yeah, but then that's another thing is that if this ghetto girl, this is her environment yeah. and. You know, as long as she doesn't have her double negatives and stuff like that, but she's still speaking clearly, but this is... Her accent is a, is because of her environment, which she cannot change. Uh, that uh, should also still uh, not make it wrong. Uh, I see I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming so, from. But that's not you. No, of course. <laughs> now I, you're going into a totally... Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, but yeah. still. But uh, yeah, you get the gist. So yeah. I'm going to show some of the comments and um, I'd love to hear what you think, you know. Get involved in this in this conversation and maybe we'll come back again next week and and um, bring up or maybe another topic. Let me know what you want to talk about in my kitchen. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again. Thank you very much, Jerry. <laughs> Check out Jerry's blog. <laughs> vlog, sorry, vlog. <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs>